Um, have you guys have ever heard that the image from your right eye actually crosses over and goes to the left side of your brain? Yeah. Most people have heard yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. So there's some really cool stuff that happens, and this is one of the reasons I always like talking about vision because people, vision is one of those things we think it's real, <laughs> and it's really not. <laughs> what you're seeing is an interpretation. Yeah. Right? How many of you guys have seen optical illusions before? Yeah. Right? Sure. So we look at them and we're certain that we're seeing the vase and instead then we see the face. Right? Yeah. Or all the different weird, there's yeah. so many different optical illusions. That's because we can actually manipulate how the brain is perceiving the information that's coming in. Yeah. So keeping this really simple, if you put your hand on the back of your head, there's a part of your brain back here, okay, in the very back, called the occipital lobe. And that, this back part of your skull is called the occiput. And the occipital lobe is where most uh, visual information is processed. Now, on, that's on a really basic level. Uh, as we've gotten better with technology, we've got these cool MRIs and functional MRIs now, uh, there's about 36 different areas of your brain that actually get active when you're doing visual tasks. So vision's really, it's a widespread brain thing. All right, it's doing all kinds of stuff. But on the whole, most of the cool processing happens back here. But here's how you kind of want to start to think about this. If I'm looking at you, you want to think that I have a camera lens here and a camera lens here, right? So if I've got a camera here and a camera here, they're taking in separate images, mm -hmm. right? That makes sense? Yeah. Um, and so what happens, my camera lens on the right is looking at you, and in fact, when I actually first perceive you, when you first hit my, my uh, eye, you're actually upside down. Yeah. Wow. So what happens is I take the information from my right eye, which is upside down, wow. I take it back, from the right eye and I go through this little section right here and it crosses over and comes to the back of the brain on the left side. The same thing's happening with the, the lens on the left side. Right. And hopefully, if everything's working correctly, those two upside down images are turned right side up and then merged right. uh -huh. to give us good what's called binocular vision, okay. right? right? Everyone clear on that? Yes. Some of the exercises that we're gonna look at later in the course, we're gonna see if you have good binocular vision because a lot of people don't. What they in fact have is this. I've got a camera lens and a camera lens and someone smeared Vaseline on this one. Oh. <laughs> wow. So now what happens yeah. is I've got a super bad image coming mm -hmm. in from one eye, very pixelated and, and blurry, yeah. and I've got a good image. And so when it gets back to the, the brain, uh, to the, occiput, the occipital lobe, your brain has a hard time like putting them together and making them merge. Yeah. And so what happens for a lot of people is the brain actually just turns that image off. Click. And so we feel like we're going through life with two working eyes, when in fact our brain's really only using one image. Wow. All right? So we'll talk about how to, we've got a little exercise and a test for that. I'll show you how to test for it. I'll also show you how to start to work to improve it.